Hi and welcome to another RackNerd tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to install Client Exec on a RackNerd VPS. So the first thing we want to do is log into our Solus VM control panel, which I've done here. And this is the VPS that I want to install it on. So what I, the first thing I want to do is uh, go down to hostname and put in the address of the billing panel. So in this case it's going to be clients.racknerddemo.com and we want to click change. Once that's changed, we need to go to reinstall and we want to go to Debian 10 64 bit. The reason why we're going Debian 10 is it's going to help us to install Cloud Panel, which is going to make it easier down the road. So we'll select that and we click reinstall. Now, while that's reinstalling, we want to open up Cloud Panel's website. We want to go get started, free forever. And we want to click on installation on other. We also want to open up another window and we want to um, download the ironcube loader which client exec uh, requires. So we're going to type in ironcube loader download. We'll click that top link. Great. So we don't need to do anything just yet. Um, we want to go back to our VPS and open up a terminal window. We'll copy this uh, IP address and we want to remote into it. So we SSH root at the IP address and we'll put in our password, which has been generated here. Copy, paste, and I'll just change it so I don't have to type that long password in again. Cool. Now that's done, we can go back to our Cloud Panel website and we can scroll down to this installer and copy this first uh, line. So this is just going to update the system and install what we need. We want to say yes to this, yes to this, yes to this, and we wait. This will take some time because it's going to update the whole system. Now at this point you want to hit OK and then you want to push Escape. And we want to say Yes. And then we want to keep the local version. OK, now that's done we need to copy this command which will actually install Cloud Panel. And paste that in there. Okay, so that's completed now, and as you can see, here's our URL to log into Cloud Panel. But before we do that, we need to uh, make sure IronCube is installed. So we're going to go cd etc uh, cloud panel, uh, sorry, etc php, and we'll go into there. And we're going to uh, download IronCube um, zip file in this folder. So we'll go back to our IronCube website. We want to select the Linux 64-bit one, copy the link here, go back and we want to go wget and paste that link in. That will download and then we want to unzip that um, ironcube link, oh, that, sorry, that, we want to unzip that ironcube file and then we can now remove that ironcube file. And then we can go into their directory and we want to open up uh, the readme text. This just and we want to scroll down. This just saves time um, and we want to select this. We're going to add this to our PHP INI file. So we're going to go back. Now we've copied that. And we want to edit out our PHP INI file. So we're going to go CD and go back one directory. And then we want to go into 7.4. We're going to use 7.4. You can use, I think it's 7.3, 7.4, and 8. But recommended, I think, is 7.4. Um, but just check on the client execs website on what they um, recommend. But um, I found 7.4 work perfectly fine. So we want to go into the FPM folder. 
and there's the PHP any. So we're going to go nano php dot any, and we want to paste that in here. We want to change this uh, version to four seven point four. We need to change the path as well because that path is wrong. So we'll go etc php and then it's in the iron cube folder. And that should be enough and we'll save that. And what I like to do is just do a reboot. Okay, now that's done, we should be able to log into our uh, cloud panel and set up our accounts. So we'll go back up to here. It should be pretty quick, that restart. And we'll open up a new tab, and we'll go to it. It's going to um, prompt you for this SSL security warning. Don't worry about that. Just accept it. Okay, this is where we create our admin account. So I'm just going to go Dave. Admin. No. Rack nerd is the username, and we'll go Dave at racknerddemo.com. Put a password in. Select your time zone, I won't worry about that, but your Berlin's fine. Create user, and now we can log in. Ah, oh, that's right, wrong password. <laughs> Okay, so now we're in here, we can uh, go into domains and we want to add our client exec domain, which was, if you remember, clients.racknerddemo.com. We want to select the version 7.4 for the PHP. And we want to scroll down to the uh, generic um, template and we want to add domain. Now it's important to make sure that the domain is pointed to the IP address. We've already done that, but we won't go into it because there's many DNS providers. So once we've done that, we click on that domain and we want to apply a SSL certificate to it. So we click on SSL certificates, go up to actions and go new let's encrypt certificate. It's going to say we're going to uh, do a let's encrypt certificate on this domain. We go create and install. So as you can see, it says SSL certificate has been installed. So now we can actually go to clients.racknerddemo.com and you'll see there's nothing there. It'll say 403 forbidden. Now that's fine because we haven't got anything there yet. Now we need to go to the client exec website. We want to download the latest version. So we can right click on this download, go copy link, Oh, well, before we do that, actually, we need to uh, go to our uh, root directory. You can find the root by going into your domain and then settings, and then this is the root directory. So we'll go back to our terminal window and we'll make sure we can go there. Oh, we need to reconnect first. CD into that directory. Now we're there. Okay, so we can right click on this, copy the download, go back and go wget and paste it in there. And we just need to rename that because it didn't put the extension on that. So we go latest and we can just go latest, uh, let's just say client exec.zip. We can unzip client exec. Now that's done. We can remove client exec.zip. So I like to use FileZilla just to move the files around. Um, I'm not much of a um, command line based uh, user, but um, so so I will open up FileZilla. And I'll just paste in our IP address of our server and we'll log in as root. I'll put in my password. We want to log in on the SSH port. Click OK. 
And then we want to go to, uh, I think it's home. Actually, we can just copy this here. Go into the client exec folder, select everything, and drop it up one folder. Perfect. Now we can go back and we can delete this client exec folder here. Okay, now we do need to go back to cloud panel here and we want to go down to, on the left hand side, um, cloud panel CLI. We want to click commands and scroll right down to the bottom and we want to copy this. Now this makes sure that all the permissions are set correctly for Nginx. So we'll step back one level and we'll paste that and we'll apply it to the clients.racknerdemo.com directory. We hit enter and now the permissions are all set. So we should be able to refresh this and it shouldn't give us any errors and it hasn't so we can click continue and start the next step continue with installation now we need to create our database and this is where cloud panel comes in it's very handy we can go back to here click on databases click add a database we go billing and we'll have our username as billing Put in a password and add database. Now we can go back to here and our username was billing and I'll put our password in and our database was billing. Click continue. So that's worked. Now we can put in our email address. Company name, Brack Nerd Hosting. Untick that. Continue to last step. So now that has been installed on the VPS. So we can click login. So there you have it, that's how you install client exec on a Racknerd VPS. Thanks for watching, if you like this video please hit the like and subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one.